A while ago, I had this idea for a video. I wanted to take OBS Studio and completely redesign the UI to try to design maybe some themes for OBS. But after working super hard on a couple of them, I realized that I was spending way too much time and ultimately it wouldn't be worth it. But today, I really want to put a video out and I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to show you what I made so far. Now, do keep in mind that I reached out to some developers, showing them the concepts that I had and asking them, is that possible? Could we create maybe a system where people can install OBS themes? And the answer was yes, people can install OBS themes. Actually, you can find it on the OBS website, but nothing like what I was creating. So yeah, maybe in the future. Anyways, enjoy. All right, so I'll do live commentary while the time lapse is playing in the background. First thing I did was take a screenshot and bring that into Photoshop. And uh, yeah, the original video, I was supposed to talk in between and actually explain every single step. But um, I wanted to start with something super clean, a little bit cleaner than what we have with OBS right now. Of course, when it came to picking out like the colors, I went with, you know, my color scheme, which is uh, purple and teal or cyan but a very very like darker version of that because i wanted to keep like the dark theme like dark-ish theme that obs has and and um i wanted to make something that is not too distracting you know so first thing i had to do was set up like scene sources transitions and all that stuff and uh try to figure out like where i would put the volume mixer or like the the, the audio mixer in general um i decided to have uh, icons top left instead of having all those words because well icons are kind of like icons are the future <laughs> no but seriously uh um on a lot of apps we don't even use words anymore i it might be more intuitive or less intuitive depending on who you ask but in general i feel like um, just having icons makes it look better even if it's not more intuitive you can see here i decided to go with the with that color scheme for the volume mixer for the for the like uh the audio visualizer because i don't know it just looked amazing and you know the colors don't necessarily have to be uh the typical green uh green to orange to let you know if something is peaking or not you can just judge by you know where the bar is exactly i put a screenshot of like a call of duty game here but uh, this has nothing to do with call of duty we actually have a call of call of duty one coming up uh later on so yeah and then from there it was like basic uh populate stuff and make it look like like the like a proper ui you know i had like icons floating no real box surrounding them and um yeah just trying to make it look good uh, this was like the hardest decision and I actually ended up not liking what I came up with even though it's going to be persistent but basically big icons instead of all the little words that OBS has to to tell you okay start live streaming or start uh, replay buffer start recording and all that so I, I did my best to try um, to find icons that would represent all that stuff I don't know if it's intuitive once again um, I think this time I was like mostly going for looks not necessarily not necessarily not necessarily for um, how useful it would be or, or how functional because, well, this cannot be. This cannot be functional, unfortunately. I really like the way I, I set the selected items here um, instead of having like that, you know, I think it's blue in OBS Studio. Um, in this case, it was the purple and teal. And this is the final result. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, watch the other ones and you'll tell me like which ones is uh, your favorite. All right, up to the next one. I'm using the same PSD file, the same Photoshop file to start with this one. And this one, you know, I thought, okay, let's make it more game-like. Less, you know, UI-centric, more like video game UI. Something that we might be uh, used to, you know, as gamers. A lot of gamers use uh, OBS Studio and all that. So while I had the Call of Duty uh, screenshot, I thought, OK, let me take inspiration. Let's go with that orange and black and white uh, type of color scheme and make it really, really punchy. Not going to lie, in real life, you know, you wouldn't use those type of colors for like a software, especially not a broadcasting software, because, yeah, it's it's taking so much like attention away from the preview, which is you know, the preview is what you're broadcasting. Your UI shouldn't be competing with that. But I think it was like a fun little exercise. Uh, make everything pretty blocky. This time we had a lot of frames around like the words and all that. And yeah, pretty much like keeping it dark with that orange highlight. 
I um, I went back on those icons up top. I centered those icons this time. And, you know, from, from time to time, I was trying out new stuff. Uh, here on the, the audio bars, I wanted to make them uh, orange all the way through, but with a little bit of um, gradient towards yellow. So if you hit yellow, basically you would be saturating or you would be peaking. Yeah, I've tried to improve every single time. I tried to clean up all the bars. Like sometimes I wanted the, the whole UI thing to be a little more, like a little simpler in a way. So I messed around with that for a while. <laughs> Again, I think now you can understand um, why I ended up giving up on this project. Like every single UI was taking me like two hours. And uh, I don't know, I felt discouraged by the end of it. I really, really felt discouraged. Like if you're a dev and you think like making something like that could be cool or could be possible, uh, definitely let me know. Definitely let me know. Um, the part where I went kind of lazy was definitely on those icons. I feel like I could have done something better there. They ended up being like too big and too bulky and too out there. No matter what I, I tried, it just didn't seem to um, look clean, really. So here you can see me making them like pretty small, making them, you know, trying to fit them all somewhere, give them maybe uh, more colors. Again, this whole intuitiveness thing. Uh, <laughs> this was like, um, this was pretty funny because I ended up adding like some sort of grunge texture to certain parts of the UI. And you can see the final result here. And uh, I like it. Like the, I think the final result is pretty nice. I added a bunch of like little glow and things like that. So yeah, this is the final result. Um, I don't know if that glow is visible or not, but again, this is not something that you would necessarily see in a normal UI. I don't think the glow factor would, would be a thing at all. Yeah, just let me know what you think about it. All right, so finally for this one, after going through this whole like dark theme for both of them, I decided to do something maybe inspired by Fortnite, something brighter, something more colorful. Um, just to see if I could really. Um, I went with a whole different color scheme. I tried a couple of colors first and um, and yeah, I really wanted this one to be punchy. Uh, you can see that I'm centering those tabs this time and um, trying different fonts. Even though I'm keeping it clean, I really like the um, the audio mixer having like that, that rainbow color. Instead of just orange to green, it goes all the way up to purple um, going through, you know, uh, red, orange, green, blue, purple. Love that. Love that. For the selection, I thought, hey, whatever you select is basically going to bleed out into um, the sources because like the scenes contain sources. And when you click on them, I think it's pretty like it's a pretty cool visual to let you know that, OK, here's the scene you are in and here are uh, the sources contained within that scene. Uh, just a little idea like that. Uh, changed a couple things. The icons are top left now. I gave them some color. I put, uh, I changed the framing to have rounded rectangles pretty much everywhere. And I also use that technique to kind of, you know, make it like, I'm calling it bleeding in, but I don't even know how to describe it. But basically, yeah, it's like spreading into, it's kind of merging into each other is what I'm looking for. I put properties and filters underneath the sources. So when you select a source, the idea is you could click on properties to get them. And if you want to add filters, basically there's a bar on top of all those tabs usually. And I did not want to incorporate that bar uh, because it was a little too OBS-y. <laughs> so having them under the source, because it always has to do with the source, um, I think was a, was a pretty good idea. Here I'm putting you, you know, colors on the go live button and trying to um showcase like what it would look like if you were live right like if you have one thing active how it would like change color and all that i switched this screenshot to a fortnite screenshot and um yeah i have a, a couple of gradients pretty much everywhere to make everything pop a little bit more this is the type of style that you would find in something like uh fall guys they have the similar type of uh, ui design and then here I decided to spice it up even more. The background behind the preview, the broadcast preview, I thought, hey, why not put, you know, a couple of those things behind it and, and really spice it up. Again, this is not something that would be practical at all. Technically, this is horrible UI design. 
<laughs> but I think it's uh, it's pretty fun and it creates something that is uh, kind of familiar if you are a gamer, if you play games like Fortnite or Fall Guys or or things like that. It, it basically creates like a rich environment for the whole uh, broadcasting software. And yeah, that is the final result. Make sure you let me know which one was your favorite. And uh, it's kind of a shame that we cannot modify OBS like that. Maybe I need to create my own broadcasting software. I don't know. Either way, it was a fun exercise. I definitely do not have the motivation to like push it further, maybe in the future, uh, maybe depending on how this video does. But to be fair, this was 100% for entertainment purposes only. Now, if you use StreamerBot, I actually made a video redesigning the StreamerBot UI, and this one was pretty fun. So make sure you check that one out. Also, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you next time.